This is Travis Elliott with the National Control Devices here with another tutorial for our NCD Enterprise Wireless IoT product line. Um, today's question comes to us from uh, looks like Juan Finjan. Finjan? Juan Finjan? Is there any tutorial about how to connect the IoT Edge computer with AWS IoT? Um, I thought uh, I've, I've gotten a few requests from this and I've shown a few people how to do it. Uh, so it kind of makes sense to, uh, to go ahead and make a video tutorial here about how this works. Uh, he also asked about how to configure sensors through the IoT Edge computer, which we already have a uh, demonstration video on that, so I'll be sure and send that to him as well. So the product in question that Juan's talking about today is our NCD uh, IoT Edge computer. Um, this acts as a uh, gateway uh, device for our IoT wireless enterprise line of sensors. Um, and it can uh, parse the data and send the data to different cloud resources, uh, one of which being AWS, which we're gonna demonstrate today. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to go to AWS IoT Core. So sign into your AWS console and go to IoT Core. Um, be sure and pay attention to your region up here. I usually use Ohio for my location. Uh, I think that there are some issues with North Virginia whenever it comes to IO, uh, IoT Core, but um, don't quote me on that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Manage in AWS IoT Core. We're going to go to things and we're going to create a thing. We're going to create a single thing and we'll give it a name. Uh, tutorial thing. That's basically going to be the name of our IoT Edge computer. Um, I'm not going to create a shadow document, nothing else. We're just going to leave all that default. Uh, we're going to auto generate a new certificate. Uh, so, this is going to create certificate files. We're going to download them. Um, I already have a policy here. Um, this policy, uh, you can take a look at here. Um, we've got uh, the version is uh, 2012 10 17. Um, we are allowing the action of IoT Connect. To, uh, to this resource, which is kind of uh, wide open. Um, and then we're gonna allow action IoT publish and IoT receive. It's gonna allow our uh, IoT edge computer to communicate both ways with uh, IoT core. And again, we're uh, specifying the resources here. Um, and feel free to pause this video uh, to get this information. Um, the next thing, we're going to allow IoT subscribe, which is going to allow us to get uh, data from IoT Core. And again, we're uh, specifying uh, the resources here. Okay. You can see those there. And uh, another allow is going to be update thing shadow and get thing shadow. This isn't necessarily mandatory. Um, if you're not using the thing shadow, um, but if you are, this is how you would set that up. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this policy and then I'm gonna create, uh, click on create thing. It's going to generate the certificates that I need. Um, I'm gonna download the device certificate. I'm gonna download the private key and the public key, even though we don't need it because it makes us do it. And we're going to download the Amazon Root CA certificate. So those are four things that we downloaded there. The root certificate, the private key, the public key, and the device certificate. Um, this last one down here, I don't ever use it. Maybe you need it. I've never used it. I'll click on done. And now we've got, we'll see that tutorial thing has been created on AWS IoT. Okay. Um, so now we're ready to upload those certificates to our IoT Edge computer. So you're going to want your IoT Edge computer powered up and connected to your network, either via Ethernet or Wi-Fi, um, just so that you, you are able to connect to it. Um, the screen on the IoT Edge computer um, is going to show you, and the screen is right here. 
Um, it's not powered up in this image, but that screen's going to show you its IP address on the network. So once you know that IP address, make sure your computer is connected to the same network and enter that IP address into your web browser. Um, followed by colon 1880. And that's going to bring up the node red flow editor. And for this, I went ahead and I created a new uh, tab up here. Uh, you can just click plus here to add a flow. Um, if there's a bunch of default stuff uh, sitting on your IoT Edge computer because it's brand new, you might just go ahead and delete those tabs. You probably don't need them, but we just ship it with that stuff to kind of show you what all can be done. Um, so the first thing is uh, we're going to drag a wireless gateway node in here. And then uh, we're going to drag in a function node. And then we're going to drag in an MQTT node, an MQTT out node. So the first thing we're going to do is double click on that MQTT out node. And we're going to uh, we're going to add a new MQTT broker. So make sure that's selected there. And then click the right button uh, or the edit button, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we need to enter in the server here. So this is going to be the address of the uh, of the broker uh, for your AWS IoT core connection. Um, so to get that, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to find. You're going to click on settings over here. And it's going to be right here. This is your endpoint. So copy that. Come back over to node red and put that in. You need to change this to 8883 because this is MQTTS. Um, you can put in a client ID if you want to. Not absolutely necessary. Um, security, we're not going to use a username or password. Um, but we do need to, uh, back here on the main connection, we need to enable SSL and TLS. And we're going to create a TLS uh, configuration. And you can get the, give this a name if you want, uh, AWS, or actually we'll call it a tutorial thing certs. Um, so here we can upload those files we downloaded from AWS. So we're going to upload a certificate here. Uh, so we want the device certificate that we downloaded. Then we want to upload the private key. And then we want to upload the root CA certificate. And uh, I leave this unchecked, the verify server certificate. Uh, no passphrase is required. Um, so that's it for that. And uh, yeah, I think that is everything you've got to have. Um, you can have it, uh, you can have the MQTT node uh, publish a message whenever it uh, first connects to the broker, uh, message sent before disconnect, and uh, message sent on an unexpected disconnect. Uh, I'm expecting that happens after it reestablishes connection. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave all that alone. Now we're just going to call this uh, AWS tutorial thing. We'll click add. Uh, I'm not going to specify a topic in here. Most of the time it makes sense to set the topic based on the data that's coming into the MQTT node uh, rather than publishing everything to a default topic here. Um, so actually if you look at the uh, documentation here, you'll see you can set the payload, the topic, the quality of service, retain, you can set all that in uh, using the object that's passed into the MQTT node. Uh, so I'm always going to specify the payload topic and everything wherever I pass it in there. So we'll click on done on that and then we'll go ahead and just deploy right now and all we're looking to do is just verify that this did in fact connect. So if this says uh, connected right here, congratulations, your IoT Edge computer is connected to AWS IoT. Um, we do need to configure this wireless gateway. Um, the IoT Edge computer, you should see a forward slash dev, forward slash TTY S1 115.200. Um, that's the one that you want. Um, you can rename this if you want to, but I'm going to leave it named Wireless Gateway. Um, 
And then what we can actually do is uh, we can we can look at uh, some messages um, that are coming in so we can just see what kind of format that data comes in. So I just connected a debug node here. We're gonna bring up the debug panel. Um, we'll see that the wireless gateway actually tells you what its wireless serial number is whenever you first deploy. Um, that can be some useful information. Um, but then we need a we need a transmission from a sensor. Okay, so I just powered up a sensor there. Um, so we got a transmission from it. Um, and this, so this is so this is the data that's coming in. So let's say you know we're we're publishing this to AWS IoT. There are a lot of different ways that you can publish data to AWS IoT, and everyone has their own opinion. I would recommend that you review um, AWS IoT core documentation um, to build your topic structure, because um, there are, like I said, a lot of different ways that you can go about it. Um, but basically the gist is going to be you're going to say var topic equals um, and this is going to be the topic we're going to publish this message to. So you can say something like forward slash devices forward slash and then I'm going to just get the uh, address of the sensor um, which is going to be this right here. So I can actually just copy that path plus this. And we actually need to say message dot payload dot adder. Um, so basically, I'm going to publish this to uh, forward slash devices forward slash message dot payload dot adder. And we're going to say um, all this information about the sensor is already in message dot payload. Uh, so that's good. Um, so really, we just want to say, uh, we'll just change this instead of making a variable, we'll just say message.topic equals that. Done. And then we'll go ahead and hook this up. So basically all we did here is we just set the topic. Um, that's going to tell it where to publish the message to. So we'll click on deploy. And now we will start to see data come in here. And uh, on AWS, we can go back to AWS IoT and go to um, things, go to the tutorial thing, go to activity, MQTT test client. And we're just going to monitor forward slash devices forward slash wildcard hashtag. Um, subscribe and uh, yeah we'll we'll see if we get some messages come through here okay we saw a debug message come through here and if we look at AWS there you go the data came into the topic as we specified. We see it's publishing to devices forward slash the address of the sensor. Um, the payload from the sensor is right here. So that's it. Your data is on AWS IoT. Um, that's kind of the end of NCD support as far as working with NCD devices and AWS IoT. Um, once we've helped you get the data there, um, what you do with the data once it's on AWS IoT is kind of between you and AWS. And um, I would recommend reviewing their documentation and reaching out to their support as needed. So I hope this was useful and informative. And if anyone has any questions, Pete, please feel free to, uh, to join us on community.ncd.io. And if you ask a question on there that uh, warrants a video, uh, demonstration like this, we'll be sure to do it. All right. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day.